Oops, and part two for Miss Monica. <laughs> so, yeah. Now, let's they even look a bit swollen. So which one's, is yeah, it the right one? Yeah, because yeah. that one, it's got more heat in it. Can you feel that? Yeah. Okay, so let's feed into the center. That's pretty even, which is nice. <laughs> Fingers outstretched. Oh, look at this one though. That's out by an inch. Wow. So it's longer on this side, which means mm -hmm. this side's more relaxed, this side's tighter. Okay. So that means energetically, actually, let me check your gates. So I'm going to check both arms, both legs, and see what they're doing. Okay. Just for fun. Hold up. Hold up. Hold. And leg, and hold up for me. Really? Hold up for me. <laughs> and hold up for me. Okay, interesting. So, purely from an energy perspective, that's sort of, you can imagine, you need your legs running if you want to run away. Yeah. If you yeah. want to escape, you need them running. Yeah. So energetically, we need to get them back up and running. Okay. Let's check the femur bone in here. Yeah, so the femurs aren't great either. So we'll pop them back in. I must admit I'm struggling mowing now. Yeah, but the right. grass is growing up behind me, walking, mowing it. Yeah. Well, I've mowed it every day this week. Yeah, right. Your um, place or else, elsewhere? Elsewhere. I did five altogether. Yeah, good on ya. I did half a mine the afternoon before and you can nearly see where it had oh. grown already. When I did the other half. Oh yeah, it's good grass weather. Mm. It's amazing the difference, isn't it, in winter? So there's no way I'm taking away anymore. Good stuff. Did you and Jaya end up chatting? I rang her yesterday because I'm sort of, um, sort of know what I'm doing there. So, yeah. yeah but she didn't Oh, okay. I've just been busy, so. I oh, know. yeah. And I wanted the break. Yeah, yeah just absolutely. Now, yeah, let's just double check. Hold up. Oh, leg straight, huh? And hold up. And hold up. Good. So now, check both sides at the same time. Hold up nice and strong. Hold up nice and strong. Oh, hello. So it's you've so got your enough. left fight going. So this is about fight and flight as well. Okay. So your left fight is up and running. Alright. You're ready to go. Yeah. But your right fight's exhausted and you're right handed. Right. So, yeah. you know, yeah. it's... Uh, okay. So now let's check your flights. Hold up. Mm. And hold up. Okay, so both your right, so you've got one fight left. You got a tiny bit of fight left in your hand, <laughs> but from a physical, and that's all holding in our physicality. Yeah. That fight and flight and energy, yeah. and yeah. as we know, stacking these little knees again. Hold. Okay, so. Where do we need to start? Oh, so. No, we need to go something electrical. In electrical boost. Yeah. <laughs> so, the central meridian, base chakra, or is it celestial circuit? So we'll start with the celestial circuit. So third stage stress, so th this is Rona stress, linked in with the um, exhaustion of your fight and flight. Yeah. Can't let the bastards win. No. Did I say that out loud? <laughs> I believe it. Mm. So you're stronger at saying it than I am. <sighs> Uh, 
Um, do you remember me talking about Amazing Polly about a year ago? She's from Canada. Mm -hmm. And I I just was hopping on, having a look at her on, on some channel this morning. And she was talking about, uh, oh, what's the term that's being used at the moment? Mass formation psychosis. Okay. So it's when most of the population simply believes what everyone else believes because it's easier and it suits them and it gives them a feeling of well, safety. It's easier than fighting. Yeah. And then I was listening to, and she she had a really, like she showed a lot of the language that's being used to make it happen. You know, it's almost like a state of hypnosis mm. that people are in because of this hypnosis in the background that's been going on for mm. two years. And then I was listening to Bruce Lipton and he was talking about genetics and how here on the planet, I love Bruce Lipton as well, and he was talking about how everyone here on the planet is here because our ancestors at some stage did what they needed to do to survive. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because unless we're elite, which you and I certainly are not, <laughs> oh. uh, then we've all come from somewhere where there were rulers, kings and queens, overlords, yep. oligarchy mm -hmm. in control, and we had to submit and be coerced and manipulated to do yeah. what they wanted us to do. Yeah. So therefore, it's genetically in our DNA to want to feel oh, safe okay, yeah. with the people at the top. Yeah. So because we've been doing it for generations and generations and generations. And I thought that was a really interesting analogy. Yeah. Because survival of the fittest works, because if you were a weakling, you didn't make it through. Yeah. yeah. Um, but also, you have to coerce and submit and be manipulated mm. to allowing them to do what they do so that you survive as well. So it's an interesting yeah. both sides of the coin thing, mm. which makes sense then why, you know, some people are genetically, you know, like you, funnily enough, the bit you've got left at the moment is the fight yeah. on the left. Your flight's okay. exhausted. Yeah. It's like, no, nope, I'm done. I'm out of here. I'm not going to get involved. I'm not listening. I don't care. That's me. What, I know that it's you. Me. I'm yeah. staying at home. I'm not going to yeah. do anything. I go to work. I mow. And I've been to the shops twice. And I don't know. I'll take the dog to walk. That's all I want to do. Cut everything out. I can just take the dog to walk. Did you work on Tuesday? Yeah. Because I was... That was my extra day. Yeah, right. Because I was coming back uh, from... The ride down to to Malcolm. Yeah. Um, and I was thinking, I'm going past Bean Lee. I wonder if Monica would be home. <laughs> then I thought, oh, I don't know Monica's address. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was tossing around doing yeah, a drop in. Yeah. yeah. And then I thought, I think she works on Tuesday. No, that was the thing. <laughs> okay. I wasn't going to do that, was I? Was she? Oh, they've got you till the end of February. Mm. Yeah, but they're, they're going with head office to make sure that they can keep us. Of course they are. Yes, they say they lose five and they lose a secretary, so. So that's gone from third stage stress to second stage stress. So, so the celestial circuit, again, it's about that core sense of self. Mm -hmm. So everything in the last two years has been about don't think about you, think about everyone else on the planet. It's mm. trying to get away our sense of self, our sense of um, being allowed to look after ourselves yeah. first and to make decisions for ourselves. Yeah, so your masculinity, your stand in your power is exhausted. <laughs> and now exactly. we're over here, yeah, and now we're over here. Your caring and nurturing <laughs> is exhausted. I can't care anymore. It's too hard. Yeah, I'm flopping in this. In the, I go to watch the news and I go to sleep. Cool. But then, and that's the best thing about it then. It's doing its job.
Yep, that's back to normal then. Beautiful. Okay, so back to this fight and flight. Okay, find some underlying causes. Actually, so current. So current to 60 to 55 to 50, 45 to 40 to 35 to 30 to 35 to 30 to 25 to 30. So 35 to 30. 30 to 31, 30 to 31, 32, 31, 30 to 31. So what were you doing around 30 years old? How old were the kids? kids? I had the kids. Um, they would have been around about four. Mm -hmm. Three to four. Yep. At home mum? Yep. Yep. Yep, yep. I only went back. I went and worked at the tuck shop. Um, and then I got paid there. Mm -hmm. um, Five. Yeah. Um, Did that feel good? Yeah. Earning some money? That's right. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. Um, so before then you weren't really getting out much. No. And now you're not getting out much at the moment. That's right. And even though you're making your own decision at the moment, it still sucks. Yeah. So then you made the decision. Was he supportive of that decision? You're working at the tuck shop? Just curiously. Oh, yeah, yes, yes. He was fine with that. Yeah, okay. As long as the house was sized. Scale of 1 to 10, where was your self worth, self esteem at the time? Uh, I don't know, five. Okay. And normally at the moment, where's your self worth, self esteem? I know it's a bit flat at the yeah, moment. I'd say seven. Seven? Yeah. Cool. Okay, so. Yeah, but on the whole. Small intestine, stomach energy. No, small intestine, central energy. So, <laughs> <laughs> so small intestine, the imbalance with love, joy and hate. Uh, it's sort of like when there's shock or joy or trauma, any of that sort of delightful stuff. That last few years, nothing going on. Central, okay. Okay, so the combination of that, once again, sort of thinking about that time, you know, when the kids were little, mm -hmm. and then, um, and compared to now, you know, when we're sort of feeling, uh, it's sort of like real needy energy, mm -hmm. and then you're grabbing onto something that keeps you afloat whatever that something is. Yeah. Yeah. Hedgehog cactus is the flower essence. I don't know. Oh, really? Oh, how interesting. Okay. So, actually I might stop and start again for this one as well. All right, ready to dissolve it though. Okay, that's a good thing. I'll read it in a sec. So, coming back for part three, hedgehog cactus.